Hey Pisces, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do your October monthly reading, okay? So what we're going to look at this month is the connection between you and the person that you're watching the video for, okay? Um, we're going to look at fears and love. So where you're at, what your fears are, what your person's fears are, and and also what's bringing you together in love. All right. So this side is going to be fears. This is you. This is them. All right. And then we're going to pull two oracle cards as well for fear and for love. Pull this over a little bit. Goodness. Okay, so let's take a look at the oracles first. Okay, so for you, we have respect. So there's some element that, that you could be worried about in terms of possibly a lack of respect from your person, you could be worried about lack of respect from other people because of this connection. There's something here about respect for you and for them. We have the moon or we have cycles. So this person, your person that you're watching the video for, could be going through a certain cycle in their life that is scaring them, meaning that there might be a cycle coming to an end. So it could be about a relationship coming to an end. It could be about a relationship coming to an end with you or moving into a new cycle with you. All right, so there is, there's fears for you about respect and fears for them about cycles in some form or fashion here. Let's take a look. Whoops. Really? <laughs> All right. Six of Pentacles. All right, so you can see pretty clearly here with the Six of Pentacles, this is about giving and receiving. So I feel like you feel that there is an imbalance of give and take here. So the likelihood that you're that you're giving more to this or you're afraid that it's not going to be balanced. And then we have the Knight of Cups. So either you made an offer, a, a romantic offer that possibly wasn't reciprocated or you're afraid of making an offer that's not going to be reciprocated, meaning a lack of a lack of equal give and take here. All right. Now let's see for this person. We have the strength card. They're afraid again of a cycle that they're either moving out of or moving into and the strength that this is going to take. It might be that, you know, this could be a complete life change for them to be in a relationship with you. And this could also be possibly why there, there might be an imbalance between how much is given, how much is taken right now, because I feel like this person's head is somewhere else in the sense that it's like they have more, um, they might have more responsibility around other people. 
the world. Okay, so the wor that tells me right there that there is an ending to a cycle right now that they're going through that they're afraid of. So they might be, again, moving out of a relationship, moving out of a job, moving all together, <laughs> all right? Um, you know, I don't feel a heavy focus from them towards you, but I feel like it's there. I feel like it's there. It's like on the back burner though right now because of, of this heavy fear of like complete life change. With the world card though, I mean, it's, it's about, they can't, they may not be able to see it right now, but you know, moving out of this old cycle and into the new cycle, they are, it's moving them towards much greater satisfaction in their life, in love, okay? But right now, you know, if the two of you aren't communicating that well, you know, I feel like that's what this has to do with. I feel like they have more going on. You're definitely more focused on, you know, what's happening potentially in the relationship piece of this, you know, which which is completely understandable. But I feel like they're the ones that when this comes together will have made a lot of a lot of change. Like they're gonna go through more change right now. And that might be why you came into this person's life. Okay. But you have a fear of, you know, this person possibly not respecting you. I don't feel like it's that at all. You know, and if they're not telling you about everything that they have going on, it's simply because they're they're overwhelmed with everything that's going on. But I feel like it's moving you towards, you know, a, a more satisfying connection. So if there are delays right now, it's because of what this person is going through, that they're completing cycles. You feel like a new cycle that could be very, very satisfying for them. All right. All right. So we're going to pull one Oracle chakra card here. Okay. So we have, we have grief, but this is the heart chakra. So this is asking, you know, what does your heart tell you? All right, for both of you, what does your heart tell you? For this person, I feel like they're going to make the changes that they need to make. They're going to move out of these cycles and they'll be able to, you know, even if it causes them some grief temporarily to do this, it's because they're following their heart. Even if right now you're feeling grief because you feel like there's not an equal give and take, it's because you're following your heart, all right? And, you know, again, these are fears, all right? And, but in order to move towards love, you've got to get over and get through your fears. And I feel like that's what's happening here. So let's take a look at the love side. All right. So we're going to pull two romance angel cards. For you very soon for them what I just say I mean this this goes hand in hand healing family issues healing cycles moving through this it's all part of life but this is reassurance for you that this person is going to get through this very soon okay and then I'm going to use the chakra tarot cards for the love side All right, let's see. All right, two for you. Two 
two for them. Okay, so very soon, transformation. What are you afraid of? You're afraid of that th this isn't going to be an equal give and take. I feel like that fear is transforming, and you know that, okay? The reason that I'm saying that is because this is crown chakra. So this is something that you intuitively know. You may know what's going on with them. It doesn't mean that it feels good. To you right now okay so you know that you may know what's going on with this person and look at that the lovers they're moving towards somebody you that feels like a soulmate to them somebody they're extremely attracted to somebody that this world can bring them satisfaction overall so this is mutual in case you're wondering Two of Cups for you. And I just said, this is mutual. Both of these cards indicate soulmate. Both of these cards indicate a, a mutual love here. All right? Queen of Swords. So this Queen of Swords, you can see the dogs here. You know, dogs are representative of loyalty. So I feel like their heart is very loyal, um, you know, to the person that they are attracted to. And this person, the reason that they're going through this is because, you know, they are, they want to live their truth. I feel like they want to live their truth and I feel like they are, they are sacrificing, I feel like, a lot but I feel like it would have happened, honestly, um, regardless if you had come into their life. But I feel like you came into their life potentially to move them forward faster. Like they wouldn't have made some of the decisions that they're making right now if you weren't a part of their life. I don't know that necessarily you're feeling that. They may not even consciously really know that. But I feel like that's what's going on. And then finally, and that's what I just said. So we have the, the quest card here. All right. So this is really about the blue here is it's basically you get in life what you are, not necessarily what you want, all right? But this card is about a quest for the truth, being authentic, all right? So I feel like, I feel like it applies a little bit more to this person. I feel like you, I, I, you know, were living in your truth prior even to this person being in your life, but... I feel like this has been a huge lesson for them. But going back to the blue here, which is communication. And, it, and this can be a hard thing for people to understand, I think. But you get who you are. So if you have raised your vibration, okay, if you have elevated yourself spiritually, then that is what you're attracting, so make sure whatever you speak about this person is what you authentically feel, okay? Because, you know, if you want to draw them in at the same vibration that you're at, okay? Wow. I feel like this had to happen before this. But it's a very complete story in that you both have this, this mutual love. You know, you might be anywhere on this, um, you know, on this map here <laughs> um, for October. 
If you're in this, I feel like it's moving towards this. If you're in this, I feel like you've recently overcome this. But whatever you do, don't worry. Don't worry about what, what the, the give and take is here. I feel like it will balance out very soon. All right, Pisces? All right, so that is for the month of October. All right? And, you know, this was, I'm keeping this very high level, very general for the monthly. If you are looking for more specific or, you know, there's something that you need more help with and you're looking for a, a more personal reading, again, I'm always here for you, okay? And you can reach out to me. I am very responsive. All right, that's all I have for you. Have a great month of October. All right.